As you can see, we have a bar station here. This is basically a workplace for one bartender. And you should be able to make pretty much all your drinks from this spot. So you don't have to walk any further to go and grab anything else. So what you have here is your speed rail. So this is your, so your rail where you store all the bottles that you'll need mostly for all your different cocktails. So just choose the bottles that you use most often. Over here, we have the bar caddy. This is where you store your napkins and your tall straws and your shorter straws. Make sure you fill that up before every shift. Also here, I've got my mixing glass for stirred drinks, some nice bar spoons, and also I've displayed the bitters. It's nice for guests to look at some nice bottles of bitters that we're using in our cocktails. Over here, the most important part is of course the ice well. You're using a lot of ice when you're making cocktails, so it's really important that you have enough ice for your shift. So we have a separate compartment for your cubes and also for your crushed ice. Now because of that is filled up, this area here as well is chilled, so you can keep your fresh juices there. And they'll still cold for the rest of the shift as well. Also, I like to keep all my bar tools in one spot. So I've got this metal container here where I have all my tools together. I like to have, have them in one spot so I don't have to go looking for everywhere for my tools in my, in my bar. Over here, I've got my garnish tray. This is for all the, the garnishes and the fruit I've cut before the shift. Remember not to cut too much because you don't want to throw it away at the end of the night. So make sure your cut fruit, keep them in a sealed container and leave them in the fridge for as long as you can. Then I've got my shakers here. It's always nice to have them on your drip rail for your guests to see them when they come in. They see that you have you actually serve cocktails and also they can drip dry after you've rinsed them. So here I've put down a few glasses. These are the basic glasses that you'll need to make pretty much any cocktail. So you have here, you have your cocktail glass, your long drink glass, short drink and a shot glass. So with these four glasses, you can make pretty much any cocktail that you want.